Let's solve class 1 NSO that is Science Olympiad 2023 set B question paper. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so because we are helping you in your Olympiad journey. Let's solve. First section is logical reasoning. Question 1. Tricycle dash is third from the right end. So we have to see which tricycle is third from the right end. Let's see. First is S, second is R and third is Q. So right option is option B, Q. Question 2. Select the odd one out. Out of these four, I can see that three are water transport and one is road transport. So the odd one out is option B, cycle. Question 3. Shilpa went to meet her grandmother on the third witness day of January 20XX. On which date did she go to meet her grandmother in that month? So we have to find what was the date on third witness day. And the calendar is given. So let's see the first witness day. It's 6th. Second witness day, it's 13th. Third witness day, it's 20. And fourth witness day, it's 27. So which one is third witness day? It is 20th January. Right answer is option D. Question 4. To which group does star belong? So we have to find the group where star is already existing. And those are group P and group R. So the right answer over here is option C, P and R only. Question 5. Select the correct option which will complete the given figure pattern. Now let's see the pattern. First we have one dog and then we have three dogs. So 1 plus 2 equal to 3. Let's apply same for the third figure. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 dogs. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 dogs. Now this completes our pattern. So the right answer here should be option B that is 5 dogs. Moving to next section that is science. Question 6. Select the odd one out on the basis of the part of the plant that we eat. In options we have A. Radish, B carrot, C beetroot, and D onion. So odd one out over here is option D. That is onion because we eat stem part of onion and for rest we eat root part. Question 7. Select the correct match. Now here animal is written and its group is written. A group of monkeys called bright? No, that's wrong. A group of monkeys called a troop, cartload, barrel, etc. Okay, moving to next. A group of frog is called army and that's correct. We got our correct answer that is option B. Let's see the other two also. A group of goat is not called bat. So group of goat is basically called a herd, tribe and group of cow is also called herd or knife. Okay, so the correct match is a group of frog is called army. Question 8. I generally remain in the same shape and size even after many years. So what is that thing that remains same and does not grow? It is non-living thing. Out of these four, table is non-living thing. So option B is the right answer. Question 9. Dash does not have legs. Rat, it does. Grasshopper, it also does. Snake, that's the right option because snake does not have legs, whereas spider also have. Now, uh, question 10. Why is a toy cat considered a non-living thing? So, basically out of A, B, C, D, we need to find out which one is the right characteristic of a non-living thing. It cannot move on its own. That is correct. It cannot reproduce. That is also correct. It has lesser fur. No, that is not a criteria of a non-living thing. It can have... Uh, it can has any uh, number of any amount of uh, furs. Then it cannot grow. That is also correct because that is a characteristic of non-living things. So A, B and D are the correct answer. Option B is the right answer. Question 11. Refer to the given picture. The lizard will die in the jar because let's see the picture. There is a jar. Lizard is there and the lid is closed. That means there is no intake of air. Whatever air is present uh, in the jar, that is the uh, only air. After that, there is no air. Now, it is alone in the jar. That is why it will die. No, there is no food in the jar. That is why it will die. No, there is no water in the jar. That is why it will die. No, 
the air in the jar will get used up after some time and there will be no air left and that is why lizard will die option d is the right answer question 12 unscramble the given set of letters to obtain the name of an animal and select the option that correctly identifies the name of its young one so after unscrambling we get kangaroo from these letters and the young one of kangaroo is joey option a is the right answer question 13 the given picture shows a so this picture is of a banana tree do you know what banana tree is is it tree shrub climber or herb it is a herb option d is the right answer question 14 which of the following options shows care towards animal the option a shows that a boy is feeding a cow which is a care towards animal b is uh, putting the fire crackers on animal no not good c is throwing ball on animal no not good so option a feeding animal shows care towards animal question 15 study the given relationship and identify x how gram is related to pulse gram is example of a pulse same way we have to find the example of cereal out of these four options a is kidney bean that is a pulse b is almond that is a dry fruit c is coriander that's a seed and barley barley is a cereal so option d is the right answer question 16 starting from the first letter cross out every alternate letters and identify the word which is associated with the sense of smell let's do that let's do that from option a we'll strike out all the alternate letters and we'll start with the first letter and we did it we got beautiful for b we got fragrance for c we got smooth and for d we got delicious out of these four which one is associated with the sense of smell and the right answer is option b fragrance question 17 reema wants to take an afternoon nap in which of the following rooms of her house should she go where do we take nap we take that in our bedroom out of these four option which one is a bedroom that is option c question 18 select the correct match a tailor grows crops no tailor stitches our clothes b mason builds houses and that is the correct match we already got the correct match option b is the right answer question 19 select the correct statement from the following a sun appears to move from west to east in the sky no because sun rises from east and sets uh, in west so sun appears to move from east to west should have been correct so this is incorrect b the moon gives us light that it gets from the sun this is absolutely correct statement we got our answer that is option b question 20 which of the following statements is incorrect all insects have wings to fly this is incorrect because not all have b birds have teeth to tear their food this is also incorrect c all animals lay eggs this is also incorrect because not all so d all of these are incorrect is the right answer for us question 21 we should always eat food that is uncovered no junk no covered yes option c is the right answer for us question 22 the traditional dresses worn by man and women shown in the given picture belong to which state is it gujarat punjab kashmir or rajasthan the right answer here is option b punjab question 23 select the correct statement on road one should not walk on the footpath no that is incorrect because one should walk on the footpath b we should run on the stairs no it might hurt us we should fight with each other in the classroom no that is not the right discipline option d we should not play with sharp objects and that is the correct answer option d question 24 unscramble the given letters to find out the name of a thing present in air which makes it dirty so let's first unscramble a gives us smoke b gives us dust c gives us oxygen and d is both a and b so here all the three are present in air but the ones that make it dirty is smoke and dust so our option d is the right one because both a and b makes air dirty 
क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फाइव सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन दैट करेक्टली आइडेंटिफाइज एक्स एंड वाई इन द गिवन टेबल लेट्स सी एक्स इज और स्पाइस सो लेट्स द ऑप्शन आउट ऑफ सोएबीन एलमेंट फेनोग्रीक एंड जिंजर विच वन इज स्पाइस इट इज फेनोग्रीक सो ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट ऑप्शन बट लेट सी द वाई ऑल्सो वाई इज अ सीरियल एंड बाजरा इज अ सीरियल सो ऑप्शन सी करेक्टली मैचेस क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन दैट करेक्टली फिट्स इन द ब्लैंक्स वन एंड टू डैश हेल्प टू रन अ विंड मिल सो वॉट हेल्प टू रन अ विंड मिल इट इज विंड इट इज एयर राइट सो ऑन प्लेस ऑफ वन एयर शुड बी देयर ऑप्शन बी एंड डी आर इन कॉम्पिटिशन नाउ डैश इज यूज टू वॉश यूटेंसिल्स वॉट डू वी यूज टू वॉश एनी थिंग इट इज वॉटर सो फॉर टू इट शुड बी वॉटर द राइट ऑप्शन हियर इज ऑप्शन बी वन एज ए Question twenty seven. Who among the following has given a correct statement? Let's see. Option A is Rina. We wear sweater during winters. That is absolutely correct. B is Anju. We should carry an umbrella with us whenever we go out during the rainy season. Absolutely correct. So A, B are correct. Let's see C. Mohit says we sit under the sun in summers. Not at all because it would be very unbearable and we might get heat burns also. so option d that is both a and b is the right option question 28 which of the following activities needs air in a a boy is bathing so it needs water b the boy is drinking water again it needs water c is reading books no not the one where we need mandatory air for doing that particular activity but d is flying the kite If we have to fly anything air needs to be there so option d is the right answer question 29 if one feels sick then he she should visit a so if someone feels sick where do we go we go to a hospital option a is the right answer question 30 which of the following good habits can be placed at x so they that is one habit which we should follow on the road also and in the classroom also let's see Flush the toilet every time after using it. No, because that is a bathroom good habit. Do not chew the food food properly. It is not at all a good habit. Do not cover your mouth while coughing. It is not a good habit. Do not spit. Now this is one habit which we should follow on road also and in the classroom also. So option D is the right answer. Moving to the last section, that is achievers section, and it holds double marks for each question. Question thirty one. Study the given word grid. How many living things and non-living things are hidden in it? Okay, let's see. Let's see the living things first. So from going to left to right, hmm, did not get anything. From going top to bottom, yes, I got tree. That is a living thing. Then I got rat. That is also a living thing. only two we got as a living thing so in which option living thing two is there it is option d now let's see the non living things from going top to bottom i got mug then left to right i got pen and with pen pencil is also there then i got stone then eraser and then there is net also So we in total we got six non-living thing: mug, pen, pencil, stone, nut, net, and eraser. So option D is the right answer. Living things two, non-living things six. Question thirty-two. Study the given flow chart and identify P Q R. Let's see the chart. It is a part of plant. If yes, then this chart follows. It absorbs water and nutrients from the soil. If yes, then that is P. So it is a very easy one. What absorbs water and nutrients from the soil that is root so p should be root then if it does not do that function the next one is it carries food to all parts of the plant who is the transporter in the plant it is stem so q should be stem now if these two functions also is not done by that part of plant then it makes food for the plant and who is the cook in plant it is leaf so r should be leaf let's find the option which has p root q stem and r leaf that is option c
क्वेश्चन थर्टी थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन करेक्टली शोज फर्स्ट एज के मून एंड सेकेंड एज गिबिस मून दैट्स इज ई वन द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी क्वेश्चन थर्टी फोर रिफर टू द गिवन फैमिली ट्री एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग इट लेट्स द फैमिली ट्री सुरेश एंड सविता आर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स दे हैव टू किड्स वन इज सन दैट इज अवी डॉटर गीतांजलि गीतांजलि इज मैरिड टू राज एंड दे हैव टू सन्स विकास एंड विपुल एंड अवी इज मैरिड टू मोनिका एंड दे हैव टू डॉटर्स पलक एंड लकेशा लेट्स सी द ऑप्शन ए विकास इज द कजन ऑफ विपुल दैट इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज विकास इज सिबलिंग ऑफ विपुल बी Palak has only two aunts. Now here, Palak has uh, one aunt as Kitanjali and another one as Monika. So this statement is the correct statement. Option B is the right answer. Question thirty-five. Study the given table and select the option that correctly identifies P, Q, and R. Let's see. So P is an animal that eats plant but does not lives in den and does not grows. Let's find in the options what could be P. Uh, it could be either deer or horse, right? They both eat plants. So the competition is between option B and C. Let's see the Q. Q does not eat plants but lives in den and does not grow. So between C and B option, lion is the one that lives in den. So P as horse, Q as lion. Now let's see R. It does not eat plants. It does not live in den, but it croaks. And who croaks? It's frog. So option C is the right answer. P as a snake. A P as horse. Q as lion. And R as frog. With this, we have successfully completed class one and as so 2023 set week question paper. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done. Go check out all the playlists, be it Olympiad papers, be it educational videos, learn English, learn Hindi with kids, funzi laugh and learn. There must be something for you to learn from those playlists. Happy learning!